Taking her off? Oh. You should not be stood in there. Thank you. I'll just see loads from here. He's not putting more water back, have you? No, not yet. Just test the valve at the back. Okay, yeah, go on. Valve at the back, yeah. Yeah, shut it. I think there's a bit of pressure left in it. Right, okay. And then do, just put this half for now. That's going to be a red one. So what he's saying is you can put it there and on the way back and then any pressure it's let it all out. That's no that's nothing now, should it? Right. Good. Oh. Good. Morning everyone. If you have not already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring the little bell. Videos every Tuesday, Friday, sometimes we do the Sunday video. In today's video, what's going on, what is happening? So we have our little Hurlican tractor. We have changed it from the case that we've got. The case is 145 horsepower, smashing it with the big tanker. The case is gonna be here for three months, but after the case leaves, there might be another one that comes, who knows? But we wanna see if the big 2,300 gallon major tanker can get pulled by our little 100 horsepower Hurlican. Our little Hurlican is a pocket rocket, it is full of beans, full of power, but there is a lot of slurry in the back of there. If you don't know anyway, we have a tanker that is 1500 gallons. We're looking at swapping it, but do we go to 23 or do we stay at 2000? It is a little bit soft out there, it's not as wet as it has been. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to see if it will travel and uh, see if we can trade it in for a big one. I'm really liking this big tanker, it's got massive tyres and uh, we'll just see what options we have. There is another option to put a rain gun on it as well, but that is if this can even pull this thing. And that's what we're doing today, is it, Father? What we're doing today. You're going to take first load? I'm going to take first load, see what it's like. Was it dry on that field? Yeah, yeah. There's uh, a wet spot in the middle. Yeah, yeah, you might just see. Well, I'll go round it and yeah, see what's okay. got the best I make. There's one left wet spot in the middle of that field. Did you notice be great to see all that water go? Yeah, go. 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 Well, I'll drone you getting off. See how the Hurleyman does. Yeah. You're going to do a few loads of this, yeah, then you're yeah. going to take tanker back, and then we're going to discuss the. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's about it. Yeah, well, I'll take this one back and take my, the other one back. Oh, 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 what are we going to do? What are we going to do? It just depends how this tank is. Yeah. What's your prediction? Change your worry prediction with the moustache. No, you're all right. You've got loads. Look. I'm going to get the tyres. The, the, the back of the Hurleyman tyres. The still original tyres, they've done 6,500 hours. They've still got a lot of tread on, really. And also, the pressures aren't that high in them. With the weight of this, we might have to think about putting a bit more pressure in the tyre. Okay. If we did a lot of road work. But if we're going straight across our field. You can see the pitch is very, very low, but yeah. we can take that off. But it's just putting a fair bit of weight on the back end. Where are we up to? You see, if you're going to take the line, Let's see how we get on. We're going to be finished in a minute.
So first impressions with all the weight at the back end of that tire. Tires need a bit more pressure, tires need a bit more pressure. Need a bit more pressure. Need a bit more pressure. However, it's just we know we're not going to use it a lot, but we're also because it's ideal for doing some harrowing and rolling work because we have a big footprint going on yeah. the ground. Well, I watched a Grassman video and they were talking about tyres, tyres radius, and it's actually proper if you have three lugs on the ground. We were talking about three lugs. Yeah, so we've got three lugs. Yeah. One, two, three. And that is the proper way to drive a tractor. And the guy was talking about, I can't remember what video it was. Yeah. The guy was talking about road and off-road. Yeah. You've got most grip and you won't use as much tread as you think you will. So, uh, it could have been a video about two years ago. It was quite interesting from Grassman, shout out. If the tyre is very, very hard and it is totally round, it's only got the bottom lug digging in the most and the other two lugs are like catching and flicking it out. That is almost like a track. <laughs> who who needs a track when you just, just you, take, just take pressure off? Now that is ideal. For pulling weight, that is ideal. That has got the maximum amount of. You won't want four. Your wheel will be no, flat. No, 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 no. But that will do. Let's see what it's yeah. like when we see get what back it does. Fortunately, the back end of this tractor is a strong back end for the size of the tractor, and also we've got the front weights on to try and weight it up. If you do hit a bit of a wet spot, there's a bit of grip on the front end. It's not all on the back end. We've got 145 ponies to pick you out. Don't know my mic again. The adapter's not come yet. We've got this one. We've got this. How do you think that's all right? It's very good. Cool. Set off. And when I hit the wet spot, and there's a the wet spot in the middle, I've always been to slip a bit this. I'm putting in four-wheel drive. <laughs> so, I put it in four-wheel drive quickly, and no problem. I just put this lock on and he just pulled through and I've just been back to have a look now and there's no bigger mark than you made him oh, turn it off. So yeah, he, he was slipping a bit on the um, unfortunately on the stop, stopping stuff. But one thing it has shown me going onto that field now, and I know you've done a bit. Um, all the water's sitting in all those little puddles made by those highland cows. So next year, we're going to bring him out all that. Well, this year, we're going to bring him in in December. Yeah, but we're going to get somewhere. Let's a job on him. We're going to have to find somewhere for them. We're going to find a paddock somewhere else. We're going to have to do is slit all these fields. Oh, yeah. Anyway, on this side of the farm, Can't we're going to place them. Before you even have a roll, it's got to be done because if it rains hard, all this water goes in, and the, the ground, the, the roots aren't getting in the air. And this fuel we're putting on, slurry or fertilizer, isn't getting down to the roots. So it wants slitting, so the air comes up, the product can go down, the worms can work, and everything. So, yeah, we've got a job on it, it's another right. job. What do you think about the tanker? Good, like it, can you pull it? Very easy, easy, no problem. I was down the gearbox, yeah. I was in your middle gearbox, and the three lower ones, yeah. and I just super, super slow. And uh, when it pulled it for no problem. Do you want to just go with this load, see what you think? Yeah, One load. You go with this load, what you think, and then I'll just go in the office, I'll have a couple of things to do, I'll come back and take over from the view. Catch me up later. I'll stick to the one. Oh yeah. Oops. I forgot to turn the valve on.
days in what? Three days? Does? About three days when I started tanking. It was wet. Wouldn't even dream of going on this field with this tractor. And um, drying up even the wettest fields. Please do not get stuck. Oh, that's soft. That's soft. The tanker actually travels better than the tractor. 100%. I know all the weights on the tractor technically from the drawbar at the back end. So, in conclusion, can the Hilliman pull this tanker? It's a yes. It definitely grunts a bit more than the big tractor, but she can pull it. We need more pressure in the tyres. I agree with Dad with that one. Need to take some stuff out of the back of that seat because Dad's put so much stuff like hammers, tools. It's so annoying because when you do drop, it drops in there and you sit on it. It's very annoying so you do that. And we were looking at new tyres for the Hurleyman. Like I say, this has done six and a half thousand hours on this Hurleyman. That is plenty of time on this tractor. You can see the front tyres are getting a little bit slack. This one on the right, there's plenty of tread on that. That's because Dad popped it about three or four years ago before the whole YouTube thing. Literally just before it, he popped it on the chain harrows trying to get the till saw on. That wasn't a great day. He was very mad. But they're just getting a little bit tired, so we are looking at swapping these. But in conclusion, we can pull this tanker. Let's put us in a sticky situation. Because do we change? Do we not change? Will it be this tanker or will it be a different one? Who knows? We can do it though. Guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up. If you did, you found out something interesting today. A hundred horses can pull 10,000-ish litres. Interesting to know. See what happens in the future. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Things are getting exciting. Loads of work going on. It is mad busy, which is great. Great for me. Great for you guys. Just getting the time to edit it, but hope you enjoyed it. See you in a bit. Bye. Boom.